Hello there, this is Homer Simpson. Press the free like button if the average boss at a 9 to 5 job would have fired CM Punk for lunging and shouting at him or her at your job. Because Mr. Burns has fired me for far less. All right, so here are my thoughts about the Jack Perry versus CM Junk footage. Now, I don't think this video is a big deal in terms of, okay, this dude got into a fight with Jack Perry. Okay, that happens. There has been tons of fights backstage for the past damn near 50 years of pro wrestling that we don't know about, right? For example, Rick Rude beat up Warrior backstage. Um, fucking Jericho, Goldberg, Kurt Angle, fucking Eddie G, Booker T, Batista. Tons of guys have gotten into fights. Now, looking back at the video, CM Junk was not fired because he fought or choked out Jack Perry. People are overlooking this video. The first thing I tried to look for was, okay, was Tony Khan's life in danger? That's all I cared about. Nobody cares about this fight. I cared about what got this man fired. This dude did lunge at Tony Khan. What? You people don't got no jobs, right? It's either y'all some bums, y'all don't got no jobs, or you suck at your fucking job, or, bruh, you don't know what it is to be employed. Bro. Get out of your fake pro wrestling bubble. This was real life. So I saw the footage. This dude had to be held back by two men, two grown men, from attacking and lunging after Tony Khan. Man. This dude was pointing and shouting at Tony Khan. Man. He almost got in his face, but two men had to hold him back. Some dumbass said, okay, why didn't Tony Khan man try to jump in and hold back CM Jung and Jack Perry? Bruh. This dude is like 125 pounds, probably. He is short. He is skinny. This dude ain't no fighter or wrestler. He's a nerd with money. Okay? He's a geek like you. So, what would Tony Khan man do? I mean, how can he stop CM Junk from attacking Jack Perry? CM Junk is a former mixed martial artist. So, what the fuck was Tony Khan man going to do? to stop CM Junk from attacking Jack Perry. Really? So this billionaire nerd geek, right? You wanted him to jump in a fight with two trained professional wrestlers. One of them is a trained fighter. So you wanted him to jump in and defuse the situation. What the fuck was he gonna do? He's not, bro, he's not Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon, a prime Vince McMahon was six foot two, 230 pounds. So I can see him trying to hold back CM Junk. For example, Samoa Joe was seen holding back Jack Perry, right? Because he's a grown ass wrestler who's a big ass dude. So that makes sense. If you look at the video, there was tons of big guys holding back CM Junk and Jack Perry. That's my fucking point. So bro, what was Tony Khan man going to do? to stop them from fighting. No, so shut the fuck up. But no, CM Junk was not fired because he fought Jack Perry. Now that I saw the video, this dude was fired because listen, if I'm a lawyer, I'm going to show this footage in court that this guy tried to attack my client. He was seen almost trying to attack my client. He was seen pointing at him, he was on a high, right? He just choked out somebody. So he is unhinged by that logic. So nobody is safe around him, right? He's a ticking time bomb. If I'm Tony Khan, man, who is not a fighter, this guy is like, what? Maybe five foot six, right? He's a small man. He's smaller than Eric Bischoff. So what are we talking about? He ain't no fighter. So if I'm Tony Khan, man, I'm like, damn, bro. I'm on edge. This guy, it, bro, this guy is fucking crazy. He just attacked Jack Perry right in front of me, his own boss. So yes, this guy came from the UFC. I don't care if he sucked at the end of the day. This guy is a trained fighter. I don't care what anybody else says. So looking back, this firing was justified. If I don't Tony Khan, man, See, if this was Vince McMahon, that's different. 
this man he loved fighting people right listen chris jericho said that kofi kingston and this man got into a fight but that's different this man is on roids this dude works out at the fucking gym he can whoop your ass so and this man always felt like he was one of the boys so he's different tony Khan, man bro he never played a sport in his life okay so calm down you have to look at it from his point of view a former ufc guy tried to lunge at him two people had to hold him back this guy was unhinged he was on edge he was a ticking time bomb now i think this was a justifiable firing and yes it looked like he was trying to attack him or get in his face if if that was not the case why did two people hold him back two grown-ass men who were bigger than him right they were bigger than him so you got to look at it from tony Khan man's point of view but at the end of the day this does make all elite fake pro wrestling look bad as a whole we just saw the world wrestling federation's top star choke out one of tony Khan man's current talents on his roster yes that looks bad when it comes to reputation this makes jack perry look bad i'm like damn man and it looked like see a jump choked him out very very easily that was very very telling to a point where will we ever take jack perry seriously ever again because man cm junk he didn't break a sweat that was an easy ass choke out that jack perry asked for so if anything this video it makes cm junk look like a badass if anything but let's be honest Drew Mac, the fucking Mac Daddy, he is going to use this video as a reference for his feud with CM Junk. So all this did was help out and promote the feud with Drew Mac and CM Junk. So listen, this has backfired, right? Because listen, what's done is done. Nothing will come out of this. All right, yes, CM Junk was seen trying to lunge at Tony Khan, man. Who is his fucking boss? Listen, bitch. If I lunged at my boss, right? If I was dumb enough to lunge at my boss, nigga, I'm fired, right? Let's go back to, I don't know, back in 2016. Back when I was a manager at Walmart. Okay, what if I lunged and shouted at my boss at Walmart? Back in 2016, hmm, do you think I would keep my job? <laughs> do you think that they wouldn't call the cops on me right bro that is against walmart policy you cannot try to attack or shout or lunge at your fucking boss at work bro bro that is an automatic termination so maybe you people don't have jobs because if you are at a job and you lunge at your boss and you shout at your boss and that guy wouldn't fire you, bruh. Please hire me, bruh. Are you hiring? That's my question. Is your job hiring? If I can lunge at your boss and curse and shout at your boss and he wouldn't do shit, he wouldn't fire me? Bro, listen, hire me. Are you hiring? <laughs> That's my question. This was a justified firing. This was real life. This was not kayfabe. This, this was in the workplace. I don't care about him choking out Jack Perry. That's irrelevant. Both guys are pro wrestlers. Okay? Shit happens. But when you attempt to possibly charge at your boss, your small, short, skinny ass boss who is not a fucking athlete, of course, Tony Khan is going to be scared. Bro, he's a billionaire. He is the son of a billionaire. He's a spoiled brat. He has never done not one sport in his fucking life. So why wouldn't he be afraid of CM Junk charging after him when he is a mark for CM Junk? That makes sense. See, you are not trying to jump in the shoes of Tony Khan, man. Jump in the shoes of a boss. If your employee charges after you and screams and shouts at you, two people had to hold him back. So you want to fire him 
I'm like, wow, man, please hire me, please. <laughs> because damn, man, that is a free ass place to work. If the average boss would fire CM Junk for doing that. Now, this would not hurt the reputation of CM Junk. Okay, people are going to move on. Okay, he was heated. He was on edge. Um, he wasn't in his right mind. So, people are going to move on. So, yes, this will hurt the reputation of all elite fed pro wrestling. The fact that they show this video, it makes no sense. You showed your rival's top star that you fired. You showed him looking like a badass. And he beat up one of your young talents. How does that make you look good at all? So, let's move on to what Will Ospreay said. Now, this bothered me more than anything watching this fucking show. So, this dude was crying and complaining and bitching about what Triple H said. I'm like, bro, you a fucking crybaby. Bro, I can't imagine fucking, I don't know, Cody fucking Rhodes shooting on Tony Khan, man, on Raw TV or SmackDown. But let's talk about what Will Ospreay said. He was crying about how Triple H said, listen, I don't want nobody that don't want to do the grind. I'm like, that's facts. Will Ospreay did not want to go to the World Wrestling Federation because he didn't want to do the weekly grind. Listen, when you work on Raw and SmackDown, you have to work three days a week, multiple times a week, house shows, TV shows, etc. That shit is a fucking grind. He was right. Now, this was Triple H's point. People go to all elite wrestling because they want the light ass schedule. So, if I'm Will Ospreay, okay, that's where I'm going. Common sense, right? If some nerd is gonna pay me tons of money to wrestle once a week, I'm like, bro, that's easy money. So of course I might turn down Triple H. But dude, listen, Osprey, damn, bro, you are perfect for all elite wrestling because your ass is fucking sensitive. This dude tried to give a low blow by saying, oh. The only reason Triple H is a boss is because he fucked Stephanie. I'm like, bruh, that's so fucking childish. But this was an awful promo, and it proved me right. When I said that Brian and Osprey, they have no heat. This is a fake-ass dream match for the heck of it with no story. This match is being built up as who is the better fake pro wrestler? Who is faster? Who is stronger? Who gets better chokeholds? <laughs> I'm like, what? This is your dream match? Bro, the 21st is right around the corner. And this match is being built up as who's the better fake pro wrestler. So there's no conflict. This is a friendly competition. Wow. And you wonder why all elite wrestling is boring. With no story, no buildup. But this place is perfect for Will No Spray. But the fact that he was crying about what Triple H said, yeah, bitch, you are perfect for all elite wrestling. You are perfect. We don't want crybabies over here, bro. We don't want crybabies in the WWF. Okay, you crying over Triple H. I'm like, wow, man. Top guys don't do that. They move the fuck on. But the fact that he said that grinding was flying from the UK back to Florida, bro, fuck you. That's not a grind. That means you a fucking idiot. That's what the fuck that means. You a fucking idiot. Bruh, just move your family to Florida. That's not a grind, right? You are doing that to yourself. If Tony Kahneman is paying you tons of money, that means you got the money to buy your own fucking house in Florida. So, no, that's not a grind to fly from Jacksonville to the UK every week. Bruh, that's a you problem. Nobody asked you to do that. Dog, move your ass to the United States, you, you fucking idiot. That's my point. So, what Triple H said was a fucking fact. If you want to wrestle for the World Wrestling Federation, you have to be all in. Point intended, you have to be all in. That's what Triple H meant. He don't want you to live in the damn UK and fly back and forth. No, that's dumb. 
Triple H don't want that. He wants you all in. He wants you to move to the U.S. So we can use you every week without a hassle, without any traveling hassles. Like, bro, you are making your life harder than what it has to be. That's dumb. Nobody asked you to, to fucking do that, you fucking idiot. Move to Jacksonville, bro. Like, you got the money, so there's no excuse. Tony Khan is paying you shit loads of money, bro. There's no excuse. So, yes, Triple H was right. You are scared. You a pussy of the grind. Triple H was speaking facts, and fucking Osprey was crying about it. This is why Ricochet is better than Will Ospreay, because he is a professional. Professional. That's my point. But overall, why would you book Dustin Rhodes versus Samoa Joe? I'm like, man, that that just screams WCW. That just screams fucking the late 90s, damn near the early 2000s WCW. So you want to fucking piggyback off of the heat from the WWF, right? So Cody Rhodes faced a Samoan last week. So you want to capitalize by booking another Rhodes to face a Samoan world champion. Come on, man. That's so whack and corny. It's like, yeah, that's very WCW-like. That's just, that's just fucking whack. That's that renegade shit. Remember? Bro, that's that renegade shit. When he was cosplaying the warrior, same thing. It's like, come on, man, do better. But to make a long story short, this footage will hurt all elite fake pro wrestling long term. Because this makes you look petty. It's like, yes, CM Junk is having a good time in the World Wrestling Federation. And you just gave him more material for Drew Mac, the Mac Daddy. Bruh, I won't be shocked if Triple H makes a parody of this footage for Drew Mac to further the CM Junk storyline. That's what they are going to do. I guarantee it. Drew Mac is going to make a parody out of this footage. That's what they're going to do. And once they do it, that's going to make all elite fake pro wrestling look worse. That's it. I'm done.